Boilermakers now moved up to that two seed line. Told you that about Joe Lenardi's latest projection. Badgers had that spot coming into Friday. Now, though, projected as a three seed for the NCAA tournament after their loss to the Spartans. Now, there, listen, we cannot legally mention seeding this time of year without having the man himself with us, Joe Lenardi, in studio. That itself is a treat. This, though, is drama. There's drama on the one line, right? Because Baylor's lost in the Big 12 quarterfinals, potentially opening a door. Here comes Kentucky. They get the Volunteers today, 3 Eastern on ESPN in the SEC semis. When you compare Baylor and Kentucky, how do they shake out? How are you weighing them? If I look, first of all, Randy, just at the piece of paper, mm. Baylor has more quality wins, plays in a slightly tougher and deeper conference, and they're the defending champions, but they're going to be passed. We came into the week with two Big 12 teams on the top line, Baylor and Kansas, and two SEC teams, Auburn and Kentucky, right behind them. I thought last man standing in each league would get those spots ultimately. It's looking like Kansas and Kentucky because of the quarterfinal loss by Baylor and, of course, the quarterfinal loss by Auburn. It's not usually that cut and dry, so it looks like we're saving the drama more for the bubble. Well, let's speak to that bubble because those are the heavyweights to be sure. We go down a weight class. Bubble-wise, who's the team that could make headlines here over the next 36 hours? Well, a team that nobody is talking about but has some great wins, and I'm going to go with the Dayton Flyers out of the Atlantic 10. UD has beaten Kansas, Miami, both solidly in the field. Obviously, Kansas is a possible one seed. And they also beat Virginia Tech in a game that could come in very handy if they end up looking like two teams competing for one of the last spots. So we'll see. Dayton has some ugly losses, four quad four losses, in fact, which should be impossible. But this team began the year with 11 freshmen, so maybe it wasn't that inexcusable. And look, I know what Virginia Tech is doing. The whole country is going to see them tonight in the championship game. And I saw Oklahoma come within a fingernail of getting to the championship game of the Big 12. But generally speaking, at least in Oklahoma's case, Sometimes you can just have too many losses. And Dayton might finish the season with an unusual number of wins down the stretch. But they play Sunday afternoon if they make the A-10 final. And sometimes the committee doesn't quite grind until the very end. Okay. I know they don't like it when I say that. but <laughs> <laughs> We're just speaking the truth. The, the brackets are the brackets. Bracket reveal, speaking of, 6 Eastern tomorrow on ESPN. And we were trying to come up with it now. Is Christmas Eve and Joe Lenardi is Santa. Uh, Easter Eve and you're the Easter, whatever it is, you bring the goods for us this weekend in March. Two years since I stood here, yeah. didn't know I'd have to map quest to find my way back. <laughs> We're glad he's here. Joe Lenardi on SportsCenter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.